In conversational agents in Google Cloud, we talk about two paradigms. One is generative, the other is deterministic. You can have fully generative agents, fully deterministic agents, and also partially generative agents. It all depends on whether you're using flows and intents or generators or generative fallback or playbooks. So let's break it all down, starting with flows. Here, it all comes down to intent. You may have a buy intent or a check order intent, and those things could be mapped to a deterministic workflow that will basically have a series of if-then statements, if you will, to handle that conversation for you. In dialogue flow, or what is now called conversational agents, that relies on concepts such as flows, which is like a conversation topic, like food order or customer information. And then there's pages, which is like a state or a particular part or step in a conversation. So dialogue flow was a product created to handle these kind of conversation flows and pages. And these are the kind of concepts you'll deal with when you're building bots in dialogue flow, which is now called conversational agents. And again, the core concept here is an intent, which you define by creating training phrases to train an NLP model for that intent. But then there are also generative agents, which are purely based on LLMs with maybe some tool use. And these are typically React agents. So this is really just a prompting pattern where the agent kind of thinks about what actions to take and may take actions in the form of tools. And that's a generative agent. Now, what you can also do is take one of these flow-based agents and have LLMs in the middle of it in what is called a generator in conversational agents in Google Cloud. And what you can also do is to get a catch-all intent and send it to a generative fallback LLM prompt to handle any phrases for which there are no intents for. And you can have a generative agent be something that handles a particular conversation flow, for example, in your overall chatbot. So that's why we speak of deterministic agents, generative agents, and also hybrid agents, which combine elements of a deterministic agent with LLMs and more generative capabilities. All right, let's take a look at how it all works. So I'm here in Agent Builder on Google Cloud, and I'm going to create a new app. There are different types of apps here. The ones we were talking about is the conversational agent type app, which you can find down here. Now, when you create a conversational agent, you are presented with three options. You can use a pre-built agent, you can build your own, or you can create a Q&A agent if all you need is a simple rag kind of chatbot. Let's choose the pre-built agent so we can see some of the options that we have available in the pre-built agents. So here you can see different use cases across different industries. And for each of those, you can see whether they are more on the generative side or more on the flow-based kind of bot. So if we choose this retail example here, as an example, this is a generative type of agent. So we're just set up here, give it a name, choose a region. I'm going to choose the global region and go ahead and create it. And what that's going to do is basically pre-populate for us a conversational agent with, in this case, playbooks, because this is more of a generative agent. Again, a playbook is what those React agents are called here in conversational agents. So we can see here already three playbooks. So this is kind of the main steering agent or the supervisor, if you will, or the entry point for the chatbot. And there are the instructions here, which basically route to two other agents based on what it is that the customer want here. So it's referring to these other agents with this special syntax here for the other playbooks. And you can inspect these other playbooks by going back here. And for example, opening the place order playbook. And this is again, a React agent with a set of tools here. And these instructions is the prompt that we send to that React agent. Finally, we have a search product playbook to specifically handle product search or product information, and it has its own set of tools here. So this is basically a multi-agent setup that you can build on conversational agent. I made a video in the past about how to create these. So check them out if you're interested. You can see that the tools here are created with OpenAPI 
uh, specifications to an external API. Here in this example, it's using a fake URL, so you should change this to adapt it to your own organization if you wish to use this template or this pre-built agent. And this API spec here is specifying what is the expected input and output for that API. So again, it should adapt this and instructions to do so is again in that video that I made in the past. All right, now if we go over to the flows part here of conversation agents, you can see that there is nothing really going on here because this is a fully generative agent. If you want to test this, you can just open the simulator here on the top right corner and you can choose the default start flow or the steering agent, which is the entry point anyway. And you can ask a question here. For instance, is the Pixel Watch in stock? Uh, this is likely going to fail because these tools are basically mocks of some example.com domain, which obviously we don't own here but you can see that it didn't invoke the tool and then it got an error. So if you use this template, you can adapt it to make it work with your actual tools and it should work. Let's now take a look at a different example. We'll go back to the pre-built agent catalog here and let's now pick one that is more on the deterministic side of things. So for example, this small talk agent uses only flows and, and pages. So let's import this one. Okay, so now we have an agent with no playbook, but if we navigate over here to flows, then we can see a couple of things going on here. If we open the start page, we have a couple of different intents and routes. So there's a default welcome intent here, which is how the agent is going to reply to something like a greeting or a hi. And it's basically one hard coded response. So if we say hi here, we can see that the response exactly matches what's been configured in there. Now there are other routes here for other kinds of intents. So there's a good morning intent um, and you can see that the intent is configured in here. If you click on preview, you can see the training phrases that were used for this particular intent. These are basically different ways people could say good morning. All right, now down here, we can see what other agent responses that we are using. Again, there's nothing generative here. It's not an LLM. It's really just hard coded responses. We can test this by saying good morning. And the answer is going to be one of the three configured here. And it looks like it was the first one. So again, this is a more, more of deterministic agent. Now, if we want to do something interesting, we can, for example, Let's go and close this and go to a different route here for a good evening intent. Again, with three pre-configured responses. So not unlike the other one that we saw. But let's now do something interesting. I'll go ahead and create a playbook. I'm going to call this the good evening playbook with a goal of just chatting with the customer about any topics. And I'll just add instructions here so that we have the, the LLM just basically chatting with the user and keeping the conversation going. And now what I'm going to do is go back to the flows. Again, the start page. I'll go to that good evening route. And I'm going to delete these canned responses here. And instead, I'm going to transition this to a playbook. So I'll route this intent to a playbook so that the playbook will be the one fulfilling or handling that intent. We can test this by saying here, hi, good morning first. So that will trigger that predefined flow that we saw before. And now I'm going to say good evening. And this is now going to trigger the playbook, which is an LLM that is chit chatting with us here. Now here I got a problematic response and the reason is probably that I didn't add in examples to that playbook and it's a best practice to always add at least one example, ideally for covering the happy path scenarios. So let's go ahead and add an example. So we can just go back to the playbook here, select our playbook, go to examples 
and we create new. And here we need to start with summary, which is kind of how the playbook got started or what triggered it. And then we're gonna add basically some example conversation here. So just a back and forth between agent and user, just to kind of illustrate that the agent should really just keep the conversation going as we instructed. All right, one final user utterance here, and then I think we can end this with an okay state and a summary of the conclusion of this playbook. And now we can test it again. So you can see here the playbook was triggered. Now it's keeping the conversation going. So that looks a little better. And here I ended the conversation. So the playbook ended its execution. We should probably have added in that example some kind of by statement from the agent so that it doesn't abruptly ends. We can do that by just adding one line here of agent response. All right, so let's go back to flows and let's do something else now. I'm going to open a start page and open a good morning uh, route here. And I'm going to add a generator. A generator is basically an LM call that we can have in the middle of a specific route here. So I'm just going to prompt the LLM to say good morning in one of three or four languages that it can choose at random. I'm going to increase the temperature here a little bit and save this generator. And I need to specify a parameter in which to store the output of that generator. And then I can pick this and include as an agent response, either in addition to, or like I'm doing here, instead of any of those other can responses. So we can now test it. And if I say, good morning, Hopefully the agent will respond with, well, in this case, Spanish. So that worked well. So this is an example of a generator which can be included in the middle of a flow-based agent. And now good evening triggered the playbook. So here, as you can see, we're starting to mix and match and build a more of a hybrid agent. Now, one more thing here is that in settings, you can go to generative AI, and here's where you would configure the concept of a generative fallback. So here there are a couple of configuration options around filters and band phrases. And here on the bottom, you can see a generative fallback template. This is where you create a prompt to determine how your agent should handle a conversation or a phrase for which there is no intent pre-configured. So let's add this default template to get our LLM to tell us a joke or make a pun with whatever we said last. So this is our prompt. And now we can test this by saying something that is completely unrelated to any of the intents that we have. So if I say I like chocolate cake, now it's making a horrible pun here as a response. And this is the generative fallback feature in action. It's basically using whatever prompt we configured there to handle this phrase here. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this agent, which is mixing capabilities like generators, generative fallback and flows. And let's go ahead and publish it. We can go over to integrations. We can choose one of the possible integrations we can have here, the conversational messenger, sort of the native one here from the conversational agents platform. And we can enable that click on the try it now button. And that's going to give us a little widget here that we can use to play around with our final agent. I'm going to start with a good morning. So that's triggering the generator, which is just responding with, you know, in some, some language. Now the good evening is triggering the playbook. Now we can keep this conversation going or just end it. And now we can try the generative fallback by just saying something out of the scope of those intents here. And there you have it. Now you know how to build the world's most useless agent. But hopefully you helped illustrate the concepts and how to use conversational agents and what the value proposition here is, which is the idea of combining those deterministic based workflows, which there's a learning curve there because you need to know your way around flows and pages and dialogue flow concepts. 
but then you can combine that with LLM based playbooks, which are really just React agents and have these really powerful and yet more steerable and controllable agents on Google Cloud. Thank you for watching.